money compounds. So like, put money in your investments every single month, bi-weekly. That's what I do. I put money every single month into my accounts and it just compounds. Be patient. There's a reason why credit card companies love to give you time because interest grows with time and you probably forget about the debt because it's too painful to think about. So in that case, you forget about it. The debt grows, you come back and look at it. You don't wanna look at it because it's too painful to look at. So it grows some more. So while you're getting more sad, the credit card companies will be being will be getting more happy they'll be having smiles on their face and they'll be partying up in vegas while you're just at home crying in the closet do you really want that for yourself <laughs> so let's get our credit card debt handled let's pay off as much of our credit card as you can and get started with being a loner inst instead of being a loanee and everything will turn out right before we get started, make sure to go over to the subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get any new updates from us. I promise you it'll be a lot of value, you'll learn a lot, you'll get a lot of tips and tricks that you can share with your friends to make you seem all the more smarter. Alright guys, welcome back to another video of how money works with Course Hack. In the last video, if you missed it, where we did a lot of calculations, we nerded out, we geeked out, we learned how to use my calculator. So if you missed it, go back to the last video and look at that, how to use that calculator. But using some calculations like a $1,500 principle for invested at 50 years at 9%, simple interest gave us $8,250. Compound interest gave us $132,777 for the same 50 years. Which strategy will you use? Any sane person will go with compound interest. That's the bottom line. If you have an option, always compound interest. So this graph just shows a chart for $10,000 invested over 15 years at a 9% interest rate. The orange line is compound interest, which ends at $36,000 and simple interest in the blue line which ends at twenty-four thousand. the difference is eleven thousand dollars over 15 years at a nine percent interest rate but all i wanted to show you in this graph is know that i highlight this point compound interest is the way to go so simple interest or compound interest it's 2020 use the calculator nerd wallet has a good calculator I tried to show it in the last video it lagged it stopped it froze so I don't think it's that good, but I might be using that as an excuse to just say how good my calculator is with a spreadsheet. So if you want to use their calculator, go ahead. Or if you want to use any other calculator, Google compound interest calculator. Otherwise, you can join our mailing list and get our calculator, which also calculates contributions, monthly contributions, which is amazing. So the time value of money, the money you have now is more valuable than it's more valuable now than the same amount in the future. Why? Because of its ability to earn interest. So imagine that right now we have $10,000. 10 years from now, if you have a savings or a checkings account, it's gonna be $10,000 because our savings account earns 0% interest basically. So if we took that money now and we invested it, instead of leaving it in savings account, then it has the ability to earn interest. So that's why it's more important or more valuable now than in the in the future so let's wonder wonder why banks want you to keep taking out loans wonder why credit cards love it when you have a balance and wonder why government taxes you right away while taking forever to give you your tax refund well let's say you buy a house you get a mortgage and you borrow from the bank at an eight percent eight to ten percent interest rate for 30 years you're going to be paying them that eight to ten percent interest rate that's why the banks love it because you have to pay them the principal the amount you borrowed back plus interest so they want you to keep taking out loans they want you to have as much time as you need to pay off that loan because you're going to be paying them interest and you wonder why credit cards always love it when you have balance it's the same way as the banks except that their rate is 15 to 24 percent so that's why credit cards love it because as long as you have balance like taking on a mortgage you're going to be paying back that interest and as you're paying it, they're gonna be making them smile a lot more. 
and government taxes you right away because they know you're irresponsible with money. People are irresponsible with money. That's why they tax you every single paycheck while taking forever to give you your tax refund. So you realize this, right? The government gives you a tax refund once per year around April to July and every single paycheck they take money from your paycheck because they take money from your paycheck so they can invest it and earn interest themselves while they're taking forever to give you your tax refund because they want to keep your money for as long as possible to earn interest for them. Not you, for them. This is why tax refunds for the government is once per year while taking money from your paycheck is every single paycheck. That's a great scheme, isn't it? So the question is, do you want to be the loner or the loanee? Of course, you want to be the loner. And visit bit.ly slash course hack personal finance to get started now on how to be a loner. And go ahead, I give you permission to pause this video and visit that site, visit that link, and sign up with our newsletter and contact us if you want to get started on being a loner and be being like the banks and the credit card companies and the government and we can get you set up. So what you need to do right now is if you haven't already, start now. There's no better time than now for anything. Money takes time to grow. Invest regularly. Remember, money compounds. So like, put money in your investments every single month, bi-weekly. That's what I do. I put money every single month into my accounts and it just compounds. Be patient. There's a reason why credit card companies love to give you time because interest grows with time and you probably forget about the debt because it's too painful to think about. So in that case, you forget about it. The debt grows. You come back and look at it. You don't want to look at it because it's too painful to look at. So it grows some more. So while you're getting more sad, the credit card companies will be being will be getting more happy they'll be having smiles on their face and they'll be partying up in vegas while you're just at home crying in the closet do you really want that for yourself <laughs> so let's get our credit card debt handled let's pay off as much of our credit card as you can and get started with being a loner inst instead of being a loanee and everything will turn out right so that's what I really recommend you guys to do. So that doesn't sound too bad. We're gonna play with my calculator again, but we're not gonna play with it now because I'm running out of breath. So what I want you to do right now is go to that link, bit.ly course hack personal finance, sign up for our newsletter. You'll get our calculator, which we'll play with in the next video. Get a lot, a lot of other perks too. And please rate, comment, subscribe in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.